In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this amazing gradient effects in Go High Level, right? Just watch these gradient changes. This looks freaking amazing. This is not natively possible, so you have to use some kind of CSS coding. And I will be giving you the CSS coding in the description below, so make sure that you uh, grab that CSS code and then follow my tutorial. I've seen the last tutorial which I gave. A lot of people uh, took that code, but they didn't really follow it and they were not able to implement it, right? So make sure that you follow this tutorial till the end because I'm going to demonstrate how to change the color because that's important, right? Until unless you do not know how to change the color, you, this will not suit your branding and you will be not able to create something meaningful for your business. And I want you to create something meaningful from my YouTube channel because that's the reason why you're here for, okay? Uh, I mean, without further say, let's get started, ladies and gentlemen. So this is actually on the platform called Go High Level. Go High Level is an all-in-one marketing agency, a marketing tool basically that uh, no matter whether you're a business, small business, you're in marketing agency, or you are a SaaS uh, business and you want to take, use Go High Level backend as a tech stack and then create your own white label on it and then sell it to your clients. So whatever you want to do, Go High Level is the number one option. And that's the reason why I'm the affiliate partner of Go High Level, right? Right? And there's a link in the description that's an affiliate link. So uh, in case you like my tutorials and you want to have some amazing, freaking amazing uh, funnels for absolutely free, then make sure that you click that uh, you know link, sign up with my affiliate and DM me because I'm going to give you some amazing funnels that we do. That's what we do for, uh, for a living, ladies and gentlemen. We had a go high level web design agency. Just go to pithambhaja.com and you will be able to see that what we have done for our clients. Okay, let's get back to the tutorial as soon as possible. Okay, amazing. So uh, this is the kind of texture that you want to have in your you, in your landing pages, but uh, you just do not have the custom code or you do not understand custom coding. That's okay. I'm going to give you the entire demonstration for sure. Okay. So currently we have this color and uh, the color is due to the basically this coding, right? And I'm going to provide you the this exact coding in the description below. Okay copy the code as it is and then follow my video super important okay okay cool so this is the code that you will be provided with you can also take a screenshot if you want right so h1 which is basically denoting all the h1s in the entire landing page will be directed okay for this css enhancement okay background color is something you can ignore that uh, background image is linear gradient keep it linear gradient and then it has 135 degree what does 135 degree mean 135 degree means as you can see this is not really from green to blue rather it has a more bluish on on the bottom and a more greenish or, or yellowish at the top right it is actually in 135 degree and that's what is it's trying to state okay that's the degree of inclination towards which the color is flowing okay from one side to the other side super important to learn you can make it 90 degrees and the colors will change you can make it zero degrees and the color direction will change okay you can keep it the way you want to first color second color and third color these are three hex codes that you need to implement on your coding okay uh, so just going to give an example currently we have uh we have this color okay which is yellow green and blue and i'll show it to you yellow green and blue okay and, and that's the reason why you have these three codes okay background size 100 percent and keep the other thing as it is okay do not interfere on those things okay let me save that by the way these are also 100 percent mobile optimized i don't know somebody asked me whether these are going to be mobile optimized or not these are going to be 110 percent mobile optimized for sure okay so yeah this is what you get right and uh then you preview it and then you watch the magic happen okay but you can anyway see and see the preview in the editor itself so you're gonna get the same results now let me let me grab and do a complete live demonstration of these three colors and let me show it to you okay so you grab into the uh this thing right uh let me just make that code invalid okay i'm not a coder I just learned this uh, in my college third semester. I was about to fail, by the way, but something just worked out and I learned this. But anyways, 
I am a designer. I love web designing. That's my forte anyway. Okay, cool. Um, we need the blue color because we want to have this color texture. So let's have the blue color here. Okay. So I'm grabbing the hex codes here. If you do not know how to grab the hex code, you are not my student. Okay. You are not my student if you are if you do not know how to grab hex code. Install this extension called as color pick eyedrop. Okay. You have to install this extension called as color pick eyedrop. This extension can show you which color it is instead of just going to Canva. You can just hover on this and click on this and it will give you the color. Okay. You have to be my loyal student, otherwise, you won't do good in exams okay so yeah and then let me grab that color picker again and let me get that color code again okay um so yeah so now we have implemented the color in all the h1s for some reason it's not glowing i don't know why let me see if it changes the color or not it's dead okay cool um so it changed the color because of the color change that we had okay again let me preview it to show you it's already getting previewed in the builder but anyway let's see it in a live link okay this is freaking amazing let me see how it operates on the mobile mode sorry on mobile mode also this is looks sweet okay now let's say okay this is super important listen to this carefully i want to have the top one in this color green and i want to have the bottom one in this bluish pink how do i do it okay this might come under this might be a question that a few people might ask so let's only take into the first two heading into consideration and then let me help you with that okay so let's start with the first one okay uh click on the first heading this is h1 right and then go at the bottom of the advanced section on the right hand side you will see something called as css selector can you see that css selector let, let me show it to you again css selector okay grab that copy it okay go to the top okay now just have both the color so there is no difference between these codes just the fact that the hex code the colors are changed okay that's it don't get confused okay so this is the heading with h1 and what we did basically here is we we told go high level that hey this coding with the pointing out to all the h1s this is now only pointing to this headline i gave you the selector only select this heading and then give the assigned css which i gave it to you no other headline should have this code only this code should be represented by this headline is it clear right that's how you should do Click on save and then see voila this change this is freaking amazing now if you just want to make others black which is normal color because if you see here click on this then the default color of this is black so that's what it's going to inherit but i'm going to make it pinkish so i'm going to click on the css selector of the second heading and then add it in this h1 okay sorry my just battery about to die but that's okay and then here you go, right? So you have one headline with one color, the second headline with the second color, and they look freaking amazing. They look so nice. Let me just preview it once for your satisfaction that whether this works or not, and this 100% works. I love this. This looks so freaking beautiful. If you like this CSS code, make sure you like the video, you subscribe, and you say amazing CSS tutorial in the comments. Okay. I really appreciate comments that helps my small YouTube channel grow. You know how small it is, but it's growing slowly. Okay. So please uh, show the support. I'm literally giving everything for free to you, right, guys. And I want you to grow. I want you to improve. And then I want you to remember me. Right. Okay. Thank you so much. A lot of BS. But yeah, that's me. I'll see you soon. Take care, guys.